Hi, I would like to give you a brief overview of the new ImmuCheck VMAT module and uh, just give you a quick rundown of what it takes to do a calculation and just a uh, demonstration of how it looks of the various pieces uh, and maybe a little bit uh, of the uh, options that are available here. So before I get too far in, we'll just do the regular thing that we normally would do in our external beam. We're going to import our DICOM plan file we'll go through and actually go to a different plan and we'll just click on any one of the files in the folder and that will weed through the files and come up with the plan file so we can click OK we can see the number of beams and the dose that we see out of each one of those beams and so now we've brought the file in uh, you can see where the calculation point is in this beams eye view for this control point on this beam and if we look at the control point we can actually step through the control point as we step through the control point we'll make note of the fact that the gantry will move as well as the beams eye view calculation point as the gantry rotates around and that will give us some idea of the coverage or the openness of the calculation point with respect to the MLC positions. Uh, we can also generate a fluence map so we can get a good idea of where our high intensity fluence. Again, this is a 2D map uh, onto our 3D rotation so this may not be completely representative of hot spots as the two dimensions are basically uh, imposed on the three-dimensional aspect of the rotation. So while it may be a hot spot, it may necessarily be annular or donut shaped inside the actual delivery of the dose. Um, we can see if we have multiple control or multiple calculation points that are brought in as well. So in this case, uh, this is from an eclipse plan. Uh, in this case, we see additional points that are brought in. You can select any of these and as you select one, the treatment planning dose down here will be uh, represented as well as uh, the dose that we pull from the dose file that is brought over as part of the export process from your treatment planning system. If you are to choose, and I'll go through this uh, a little bit later, if you want to choose a different point, uh, well let's just go ahead and do it. We'll just go ahead and say, we'll just arbitrarily select a 5 here, and it's not one that we would normally choose and uh, we're going to click on that and say update and we'll note that the treatment planning system doesn't have that included in the the points that were brought over because of that we don't have an actual dose that was calculated by the treatment planning system for that point however because we brought the dose file over we use the voxel approximations and we do a uh, an interpolation an eight-way interpolation of the voxel dose evaluation inside the grid and we come up with an approximation and uh, this has been very very close to the actual treatment planning system if you were to go back to the system this just allows us to allows you the opportunity to select a point without having to make a, a return trip to the treatment planning system to identify what the dose should be at that point I'm going to go back and select the original point uh, I believe it was this one and at this point we are ready to move in to calculate through the CTs the actual uh, physical depth, SSD, and effective depth. Uh, so we read in the CTs, we scan through all of the files to make sure that these uh, files that we're scanning in actually belong to the patient we're looking for. It does num numerous checks along the way here to verify that we have all the slices we're looking for and that they're valid and in the right order and, and such. Um, there is a utility in here that allows us to adjust the CT to Hounsfield units, uh, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, Hounsfield units to relative electron density for the uh, particular CT units that's used. And at this point, we can validate that we brought over all of the points that are specified. We could come in here and tell it which uh, calculation points that we might choose to calculate a dose for within each one of the beams and we could uh, at the, the default setting is to calculate the each each point 
for each beam. Uh, we could choose to uh, uncheck these and it wouldn't calculate it, but it calculates this so fast so we won't worry about it. You could add another point in there if you wish, but really I think we've got plenty here. So uh, along with this, we see these structures listed over here. The yellow line here represents the cutoff for the CT couch and we see in this particular plan that in their eclipse they included the treatment couch as a structure and along with that their treatment couch structure pieces have along with them the relative electron density identified in the structure information and so we will utilize that as an override anytime we see an electron density and we see this box checked that says used we will use these pieces during the calculations of the SSD depth and effective depth. So we'll just go ahead and tell it to calculate. It's going to calculate for each one of our calculation points that we identified as well as each one of the beams. So now we have all the information that we need to move forward with doing a calculation. We can click our calculation here and we see that uh, we come up with a very decent number. Uh, at this point you could choose to go in and represent the, uh, the cumulative dose that was identified for this beam at each one of the segments or in this case the segment is equal to the control point and you could scroll down through here and, and look at the various pieces of information that are available to you. You can graph it and you can export it to an Excel spreadsheet for further analysis. There are some other pieces that are available to do a little bit more in-depth investigation into the calculations if we want and uh, I'll go into that in a later video. Uh, so we've got good results. We've seen what we can do with it. Uh, let's go on to the next beam. Now we've already visited the arc module that gave us the depth and effective depth and I said earlier that we calculate the information for all the beams that are included so we don't have to go back in there. At this point we can just hit the calculation button again and we're perfectly ready and we see we've got a little bit more distance between our uh, calculation and the uh, treatment planning systems identified calculation but we're still within pretty decent bounds so we're in good shape. Uh, again we can just look at the fluence if we wanted to. Uh, we also have a tool in here that lets us go look a little bit more in depth. Uh, we could do the fluence. This, this one animates uh, that just shows you the animation of the leaves moving across for each one but this uh, particular tool allows us to see the actual position of each one of the leaves and if there's any question about where the leaf falls with respect to the uh, identified calculation point uh, for this control point you can look and analyze this various pieces of information. Uh, it just gives you a little bit more in-depth uh, way to analyze what's taking place here. Uh, let's see, at this point uh, we've run all of the beams and uh, we can just generate our report the same kind of report that you would see from our external beam program and gives you all the information that's necessary to for inclusion into the patients folder and shows that everything has passed and we're good to go so I hope you enjoyed the brief overview of our new VMAP module thank you